There are a lot of foragers pouring in with large amounts of pollen. Look at this. This is amazing. I'd like to know where they're getting all this room. Right now on my finger, i got a bald-faced hornet sitting on my finger too. This is incredible. Look at that, there's white pollen and there's orange pollen. This is amazing. Tell you what, I think we'll I'm gonna set the camera inside the hive here. Camera's in the bee hole now. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I just love this colony. I absolutely love this colony. That's why I'm feeding them like crazy so they can have enough food to survive the winter. Sometimes you need find a colony in a hollow tree or somewhere you never know what you're getting. In this case I've got a colony that's got a very heavily productive queen and I like that too. And they're peaceful and gentle. That's one of the things I like. Nice gentle bees. Move over here a lot of forges clumping here in the corner. And I'm filming this without smoke too. Of course, I gotta start putting these things back together that I may have to light up to get the bees down right between the bars so I can put them back together. I know one thing, you know, when the next growing season comes next year, I have plenty of empty bars to place down in here, so that way all I do is get some empty bars and put them between the combs so they can start drawing them out and, and attempt to keep them from uh, swarming. Kind of stored pollen right there. And this up top is honey. There's the entrance right there. You can see bees coming in. See that? whole thing smells like bread yeast inside. Don't worry, that's not the disease, that's just what their food they're gathering, it smells like this. It's kind of weird, they like to go over here for some reason. There's a whole hive right there. The growing season starts next year. I'll be able to use these to put between empty bar between the uh, full combs. Enjoy.